sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, finally, I am here with Game 7 of the 2005 ALCS. I know, I know this series has dragged on longer than you probably wanted it to and longer than I even wanted it to. And, um... Finally, we are in the deciding game. So, for those of you that uh, haven't been following along, the Angels of 2005 played the White Sox of 2005 in the ALCS. In that ALCS, the um, White Sox actually won the series four games to one. They are having a much tougher time here as the series is tied at three going into the seventh and deciding game. Today's pitching matchup for the LA Angels is going to be Paul Bird on the mound. Paul Bird in 2005 was 12 and 11 with a 374 earned run average in 204 innings pitched. And he is going to be opposed on the other side by the Chicago White Sox, Freddie Garcia. And Freddie Garcia in 2005 was 14 and 8 with a 387 earned run average in 228 innings. And so we will get on with the game. The first batter, as Freddie Garcia finishes his warm ups, is going to be Sean. Figgins, the third baseman, and let's go over the Angels lineup for today. It'll be Sean Figgins at third base, and he's a third base two in the Stratomatic ratings. Uh, then it'll be Garrett Anderson, the left fielder. He's a left field three. Vlad Guerrero Sr., the right fielder. He's a two. Uh, Benji Molina, the catcher. He's a catcher two. Kochman at first base. He's a first base, too. This is a common theme with the Angels. Uh, Kennedy will be at second base, and he is a second base, too. Juan Rivera will be the DH. Orlando Cabrera will be the shortstop. He's a shortstop, too. And finally, Steve Finley rounds out their lineup. He is a center field, too. But now Sean Figgins is stepping in against Garcia. And that is a 110, and that's going to be a single. So there's a leadoff hit for the Angels. He is a stealing double A, so uh, they will re-roll and see if he makes it. He's trying to steal, and he does. So Sean Figgins has gotten a board and stolen second base. And with no outs, you got Garrett Anderson. And that's going to be a 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four is a fly ball to center. The center fielder is uh, Rowan, and he is a 1. And that's an 11. And an 11 and a 1 is, I believe, an out. And let's just make a real quick check on that. And it is. He is out. So one down, and Vlad Guerrero is at the plate. And there was no advancement, obviously. That is a 5-9, and 5-9 is a ground ball second base C. So Vlad Guerrero moves the man over, moves Sean Figgins over to third base, but there are two down now. And Benji Molina is up. Let's make sure we mark these down. Actually, I wrote the Sean Figgins was out, but whatever. Molina is up, and that is a 6-7, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. That's a Gucci. He's a 2. That is a 1. That's probably going to be a base hit. I'm going to guess that is a base hit, and um, it is, and it drives in the run, and the... Uh, uh, let's see. The um, Angels take a lead. one nothing, And Kochman is at the plate. Uh, 
And that is going to be a 1-9, and that is a strikeout. So Kochman strikes out, but the Angels do get a run, and it is 1-0 after the first inning. Well, after the top of the first. We still have the bottom of the first. Hopefully the White Sox can respond. And, of course, this is all hands on deck. This is game seven. So if Garcia needs relief help, he's going to get it. Uh, let's go over the White Sox lineup. It's going to be Pizednik leading off. He's the left field. He's the left field two. Roland is the center field one. Frank Thomas will be the DH today. Jermaine Dye and right. He's a two. Brzezinski is a catcher four. Pablo Ozuna will play first base. He's a first base five, and he is playing because Canerco is out with an injury. Uh, Joe Creedy is the third baseman. He's a third base two. Uribe is the shortstop. He's a shortstop two. And Aguchi at second base is a two. Pizednik is going to step in, and he gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And Paul Bird throws him out. There's one away. And that brings to the plate Aaron Rowan. Aaron Rowan gets a 5-7. That is a second base X. The second baseman is a 2, and that's a 17-2. And, and that is going to be an out to away. And that will bring Frankie Thomas to the plate. The big hurt is stepping in and looking to do some damage. He's doing looking to do some hurting to uh, Paul Bird. And that is going to be a 1-8, and that is a walk. So, Thomas gets aboard with a walk. Not, kind, not really the damage you were hoping he could do. So let's see what Dye can do with him there. And that is a 5-7, and that's a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 2, that is a 19. 19 and 2 at second base is an out 1, and that is it. That is the one out that ends that inning. So there are no runs across for the White Sox in the first, and it's one nothing going to the top of the second with Adam Kennedy up for the Angels. That is a 4-8, and 4-8 is a single. Adam Kennedy is aboard. He is an A stealing, so he will try it. And he's going to be gunned out. So that is one down, and uh, he's out stealing Juan Rivera. He's up. Juan Rivera gets a 4-12. That is a walk. So they would have had something really going big here, but they got Kennedy gunned out. Orlando Cabrera is up at the plate. And that is going to be a 6-9. And that is a home run 1-15. to And it is. It's gone. Orlando Cabrera hits a two-run home run. And the Angels pick up two more runs. From an unlikely source, Orlando Cabrera, who only had eight home runs that year, hits one out of the park and gives the Angels a 3-0 lead with Finley at the plate, and it's not looking good for the White Sox already. And that's a 2-8, and that is going to be a line out to first base, two away. And Sean Figgins is up. And he gets a 4-11, and 4-11 is a ground ball to the first baseman. He is a 5, and that's a 14 and a 5 at first base. I'm going to guess that's bad, and it is. Um, and that is going to be an error by Pablo Ozuna. And that brings Anderson to the plate. Garrett Anderson. And he gets a 1-7, and that's a ground ball to the first baseman. Finally, Ozuna makes a play, but the uh, Angels do the damage. They get two runs in the second, and now they have a 3-0 lead going to the bottom of the second inning. And the White Sox coming to the plate with A.J. Przinsky facing Bird. 
And that is a 5-6. That is a fly ball to center. Przinsky with a fly out. That brings Ozuna to the plate. He had the critical, well, it wasn't really a critical error uh, last inning, but he did have an error last inning. And that's a 3-8. Uh, that's a ground ball to the shortstop, so there's two away. And Joe Creedy up. They could use a run here, even a home run. 4-6 is a single one to 11, and it is an out. So Creedy is um, lining out to the shortstop. And the White Sox managed to score nothing in the second. We go to the top of the third. Now the Angels scored one in the first and two in the second. Let's hope they don't score three in the third. Vlad Guerrero is up to lead off in the third inning. And that is a 1-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And uh, um, or, uh, Uribe throws him out. And up steps Molina. Molina gets a 3-6, which is a double one or a single, and that is going to be a single. So Molina with a hit. And, you know, you've got to really figure that the White Sox are sooner or later going to have to go to the pen because Garcia just doesn't have it today. Kochman is up. Kochman gets a 2-5, and that's going to be a fly ball to right field two away. And Adam Kennedy is out. Don't expect fireworks from Adam Kennedy, but you never know. 3-6, and that's going to be a strikeout, and the Angels do... Garcia does get them out of that inning, but he is down 3 nothing, and so his mates got to get some runs for him really quickly here. We are in the bottom of the third with Juan Uribe up. Juan Uribe with a 1-10. That's a double one or a single, and it is a double. So at least the White Sox lead off with a nice base hit. Double by Uribe. And uh, Tadahito Aguchi up. He gets a 1-2. That's a line out into a double play, the shortstop. Man, you don't want to see that. And uh, really, I don't. That's for sure. And now Scott Pizednik is up. Scott Pizednik gets a 6-7, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field. And um, the White Sox are out of the second or out of the third. And now we're going to the top of the fourth, and it is 3 nothing. And uh, the uh, White Sox are going to have um, action in their bullpen. They will be getting Neil Cotts up. Yes, in normal days, this would be really, really early for Neil Cotts. But they're going to get him up now, and Juan Rivera is at the plate and he gets a 3-9 which is a uh, oh, uh, fly ball to center field so Rivera fly out to 8 one away that brings up Orlando Cabrera Orlando Cabrera gets a 2-6 which is a ground ball third base so Creedy throws him out and there's two down quickly for Steve Finley. The Angels batter. There's two down and nobody on. And that's a 4-2. And that is going to be a pop out to short. So it looks like Freddy Garcia has settled down now after the first two bad innings that he pitched. But those innings were bad enough that uh, it's really a problem. Because they're down, the White Sox are down 3 nothing in the bottom of the fourth with Rowan up against Paul Burns. And that is going to be a 4-9, and that is a double 1-6, to six, and it is a single. So Rowan rips a hit in the uh, bottom of the foot, the lead off the bottom of the fourth inning, and Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Not a one column, really wanted to see that. That's a 6-10 though, and that's a fly ball to left field. So there's one down. 
One down with Jermaine Die up. This high-powered White Sox offense has really not been great this series. That is a 2-4, and it's a strikeout. So two down. And up to the plate, we've got A.J. Przinski. And that is a 5-6, and that's going to be a fly to center field. And uh, he is out. No runs come in for the White Sox. And we go to the top of the fifth inning. With the Angels up, and they will bring in Cott. So um, Garcia only goes four, and they're going to bring Cots in. They, they need to shut this down right now. Sean Figgins at the top of the Angels border. To lead off the fifth inning and he gets a 4-7 which is a walk and that, that is not exactly what you would call shutting it down and Sean Figgins will try to steal and he does make it Garrett Anderson is up he gets a 5-7, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 2, and that is not good. That is Well, it's an out with no runner, so it is one away. Let's see. Okay, and the runner held, so it's one down with a man at second. Vlad Guerrero up with one away, a man standing 180 feet away, and that is a 2-6, which is a line out to the third baseman. Guerrero down. Wait a minute. Yeah, and, or okay, Anderson was out, and then Guerrero was out. And now you have Benji Molina with two down, and a man at second base. And that is a 4-3, and that's going to be a walk. So Molina fills in the first base, and now the Angels have two aboard with Kochman up. And Kochman gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a walk. And now you've got bases loaded. Got a problem for Kotz. Kotz not really pitching well here. Adam Kennedy. Adam Kennedy is going to get a single double asterisk and knock in two runs. So, not really how you wanted to see it happen, go down. Two more runs for the Angels and Juan Rivera up. And that's going to be a 2-7 and that is going to be a double 1-7 single. So that's going to be another run in. Three runs are in this inning alone, and then Orlando Cabrera is at the plate, and he gets a 1-8, which is a pop-out to third, and it mercifully ends, but um, the White Sox are in a lot of trouble. After five, or well, going into the bottom of the fifth inning, they are, the White Sox are losing by the score of 6 nothing, And there is going to be more um, action in the... Uh, in the pen for the White Sox, they're going to get up um, Brandon McCarthy. And Pablo Ozuna is up for the White Sox. They're really missing this game. Um, they're missing uh, Paul Canerco. I mean, they're missing his bat, and they're certainly missing also his fielding. And that is going to be a 3-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. So Ozuna is out. And we go to Joe Creedy, the third baseman. He gets a 1-8, and that is a line out to third. Two down. And, you know, I remember reading about in baseball prospectus about the 2005 White Sox. And I think they basically said that the White Sox won the World Series with smoke and mirrors. And it's being proven right here. Juan Uribe gets a 3-6 and added the ground ball to the shortstop. 
And, uh, I mean, they were a good team, good solid team, but I think Baseball Prospectus was of the opinion in the 2005 uh, essay that there was no way they should have won the World Series. So, top of the sixth, um, and Steve Finley up, and now he will be going against Brandon McCarthy. Only one inning for Cots. And Brandon McCarthy comes on to pitch the top of the sixth to Steve Finley. And that's going to be a 3 2, and that's a home run! Steve Finley, and the hits just keep coming. This was a relentless barrage by the, uh, by the Angels. Every pitcher for the White Sox has gotten jacked. Sean Figgins is up. And that's going to be a 1-8. And that's a triple 1-10. to 10, And that is a triple. Sean Figgins has been a fire in the White Sox face this uh, game. So, no outs. The White Sox have to bring the infield in. Anderson up. As futile as that probably is. 1-7 is a ground ball. First base A. So, uh, let's see. Ground ball A. With the uh, infield in. Batter is out. Run around third holds. So, that's what I figured. One away. Um, so, that was, that was Anderson. So Anderson was out, and up steps Vladdy, and they're going to have to bring the infield in again. And that is a 5-7, and that is ground ball second base. He is a 2, that is a 2, that's going to be a base hit. Ain't no uh, walking around that. So Guerrero gets a, uh, a base hit that drives in Figgins from third, and the Angels are just laying it on thick right here. Benji Molina is up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is going to be a walk. These White Sox pitchers are horrible today. I mean, just horrible. And up steps Casey Kochman. Kochman with a 3-5, and that's a single, and that's going to load the bases. They're not even going to send them an extra base because they just know everybody is in, in on the hit parade. And uh, they are going to, with only one out, right? We're gonna, They're going to play the infield back because they might as well. Kennedy is up. They might as well hope for the double play. 3-8, and they do get the double play. Ground ball to short, double play. They're out of the inning. But they did get two more runs. And so now, going to the bottom of the sixth, it is an amazing 8 nothing Angels. And Tadahito Aguchi is up against Paul Bird. He might get a full game out of this. 6-4. That's going to be a fly to center. So Aguchi is out. And up steps... Pizednik. I mean, this thing keeps fading. Uh, that is a 510. That is going to be a catcher card, and he is a catcher two. That is a 14. Uh, 14 and two at catcher is a foul out. Two away. So that was the pods man. And uh, Rowan is up. Aaron Rowan, the center fielder. Went on to be the Philly center fielder soon after, and he grounds out to the pitcher, and the White Sox are out of the inning. We go to the top of the seventh inning with Juan Rivera up. And they're going to keep McCarthy out there. Might as well. I mean, you know, 2-8 two, uh, two is a ground ball shortstop. So, um... Cabrera, or uh, who is that? The Uribe. Uribe makes the play. And that is going to be one away here in the seventh. Orlando Cabrera is up. Cabrera is up at the plate, not in the field. That was Uribe. And that is a 6-3. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. The left fielder is Pizednik. He is a 2. That is a 1. 
I don't know. I think that is. Yes, it's an out. Two away. So Cabrera flies out. Or wait, Rivera. Wait. Hmm. All right. Um, maybe that was it. That might have been it. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. So, um, the Angels get no runs in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's not like I'm jipping the Angels. I mean, you know, if the White Sox come back, then, then we'll talk about whether I jipped them. But uh, we've got Thomas up in the bottom of the seventh. The big hurt. No runs so far for the White Sox. And that is a 4-6. It's single 1-11, to 11, and it is a single. So, you've got um, Thomas aboard with a hit, finally. They get a man on at least. Let's see if they can avoid the double plays and the booby, booby traps that have got, plagued them so far this game. Jermaine Dye. Jermaine Dye gets a 6 7, and that's going to be a fly to right field. So Jermaine Dye is out, one down here in the seventh. And AJ presents. And that is a 2-3, and 2-3 is going to be a line out to second base, two away. And in case you're just joining us, we are in the bottom of the seventh inning, the White Sox and the Angels in the 2005 ALCS. And the Angels have a commanding 8-0 um, lead. They were all over every uh, uh, White Sox pitcher. Uh, which started with Freddie Garcia. And Ozuna is up now with two down and a man at first. And that is a 5-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. So the White Sox are retired there. We go to the top of the eighth inning in a, an 8 nothing game. Finley up at the plate. 5-2, that is going to be a line out to first base. McCarthy in 2005 was 3-2 and two with a 403 earned run average. Uh, but he did have 10 starts, so he's a starter reliever, so he can do this. And I don't believe he's pitched in the series yet either. Um, Finley with the out. One down, and Sean Figgins at the plate. And he gets a 1-6, which is a single. So Sean Figgins is aboard. There's a hit. And uh, they're not even going to try to steal because, you know, the unwritten rules of baseball. You're killing the other team. Don't steal the base. Garrett Anderson gets a 2-4. And that is a fly ball to right. There's two down. Two down with Sean Figgins at first. And Vlad Guerrero up. And that is a 1-8, and that is going to be a double 1-13, to 13, single double asterisk, and it is a single double asterisk. So there are runners at the corners, and uh, even, without the, uh, even without violating the unwritten rules of baseball, the, the uh, Angels may actually force another run through with Benji Molina at the plate if he gets a hit. Um, and that is a 6-4, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2, that's a 7, probably going to be an out. That would be my guess, and it is. And Molina is out. And we go to the bottom of the 8th. Joe Creedy coming up for the White Sox. Trying to make this as exciting as possible. 1-8 is a line out to third base, one away. Juan Uribe is up. He gets a 2-3, which is the ground ball to the shortstop, two away. I mean, the good thing about a blowout like this, not when it's against my team, though, is I know whatever mistakes I may have made, and I always do make mistakes, it, they won't matter in an 8 nothing game. Tadahito Aguchi is 6-8, and that is going to be a pop-out to first base. So pop-out three, no runs across for the White Sox. We're going to the top of the ninth. 
and uh, Brandon McCarthy, he's riding it out. He's riding out the storm that is the Anaheim, Anaheim, Los Angeles of Orange County Angels. Casey Coxman comes up. He gets a 6-8, and that is going to be a single one to 12, but it is not. It is actually a line out to second base. So Coxman is retired. One away. And Adam Kennedy is up. Adam Kennedy having done some damage today. That is a 310. That's going to be a ground ball to first base. And the Angels have two outs quickly here in the ninth. And Juan Rivera up. And Juan Rivera gets a 4 6, which is a double one to four, but it is not. It is actually a fly ball to center field. Rivera flying out. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. In this ALCS deciding game, and the White Sox only need a mere eight runs. Scott Bedzednik, Bird is out there. Bird has not even broken a sweat really yet. And that's a 2-5, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. So that's one away. Aaron Rowand is up. I mean, they even went right to the top of the order for this. Rowan gets a 6-8. That is a pop-out to first base. Pop-out. And the White Sox are down to their final out of this ALCS. And we may have already a new ALCS rather than what happened in the actual 2005 with Frank Thomas. The big hurt. 6-6. Six, six. He's hurt by that shortstop pop-out. Pop-out to the shortstop and the Los Angeles Angels are actually going to be the team that advances to the 2005 ALCS. Um, make sure that you tune in and you keep following the channel because we will do the NLCS and we'll see if Houston can be upset by St. Louis and give us a completely different, well it will be completely different anyway. Um, um, World Series for 2005, but with both teams being different, that would be awesome. I mean, my team already got eliminated, so, you know, not that I'm salty about that. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.